So ladies and gentlemen, fight number three this evening will be contested in the amateur light heavyweight division over three three minute rounds. And introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he weighed in at 93.1 kilos and trains out of Fight Firm and Ronan Academy, holding an undefeated amateur record of three wins and zero defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Paul, the technician, Abdurrahman. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, he weighed in at 93.1 kilos and trains out of integrated MMA, holding an amateur record of two wins, one defeat, and one draw. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Luke Zealy! And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Peter Hickmott. And you got the big boys, you get the uh, the number one ref in the game, Peter Hickmont, to separate these boys. And isn't it interesting when you're looking at both these boys with both their heads tearing over the top of the cage there? <laughs> Two just physical specimens. Both these boys look like they're in phenomenal shape. Luke Zilic, Paul Abdul Rahman. Oh, wow, nice slap. Big kick there off the back leg from uh, the man in the blue corner, of course, training out of Fight Firm and Ronan Academy. Great to see uh, three fighters from Ronan on this card. Oh, short right hand lands there for Zilic. Hey, well, look at the size of the legs from Abdul Rahman as well. He's got some tree trunks on him. Yeah, both fighters in phenomenal shape here. So great to see. You know, when you get these amateur fighters that have had three or four fights, they really start taking it, uh, you know, like they're professionals. You can tell by the shape both these men have come in. I had a look on their social medias uh, coming into this fight, and both of them always in the gym. Wow, nice little leg oh. kick. Luke's got to get his head out of the way there. He's doing nice little head movement there. At this sort of weight, you definitely don't want to cop one of those straight punches, do you? Yeah, so of course, a big layoff for Paul Abdul Rahman. It's been uh, quite a few years since his last fight. It was tricky to find any footage on him, actually. Did catch one fight of his where he got a beautiful mounted guillotine. And I'm pretty sure that was back wow. in 2011. Straight down the pipe from Zillick. So that left hand looking money here early. Well, the boys are exchanging high kick. Oh, nice little low kick. Oh, might have clipped him there. Yeah, so uh, one goes below the belt there. And uh, the, uh, the ball, Peter Hickmont, all over it. So I'm really interested to see how this one plays out. Both boys obviously have a lot of pop in both hands and feet, of course, too. Matt Luke Zillick coming off the first loss of his career at XFC 41. Lost the decision to pan up a king in what was a very entertaining fight. So let's see how he can uh, bounce back here. About a minute and a half left to go here in the opening stanza. Yeah, I really love that fight with Panama King as well. It was, a, it was an action-packed fight, wasn't it? He definitely proved that he was more than prepared to take a strike as he threw them as well. Some big short shots landed there from uh, Abdul Rahman as things get back to the feet. Luke Zilic now pressuring up against the cage. Very close opening round here. Both fighters have landed some big shots. It's uh, really up for grabs in this last minute. Nice knee to the body there. Beautiful tight clinch. A little bit of head movement from both the boys. Outside of that, I think they're uh, more, than happy, oh. more than happy to block some of these punches wow. with their chins. <laughs> Abdul Rahman looks like he's got a bit of confidence in him, though, doesn't he? The way that he's staring down his opponent. Yeah, for someone who hasn't fought in, uh, well, well over five years, it's very interesting to see how, how smooth and how comfortable he looks in the cage. No signs of ring rust at all. Hands nice and low. So nice cross-hook combo there as he gets things towards the fence. Double underhooks now for Abdul Rahman. And the well-trained Luke Zillick straight away digging for that underhook. So let's see if Luke looks to turn off the cage. Does just that momentarily, though. Now double underhooks and back against the fence we go, Matt. 20 seconds to go. Nice big takedown. Oh, is he reversed it? Wow, beautiful scramble here. Abdul Rahman on top. Big shots being landed. Only 10 seconds to go, though. Will Luke make it? Looks like there's uh, not too many cobwebs, so Luka Zilic may just survive, and he does just that. What a phenomenal fight. Wow. And crucial that takedown, isn't it? Luke Zilic, with a couple of seconds to go on the round, takes a massive takedown in, in what was a really close round. But for Panapa King to reverse it and throw some heavy bombs at the end could be enough to sway the judges in that first round. Yeah, that's something you see sometimes with those body lock style takedowns. Is someone, if they've got the timing and uh, the ability to do so. They can step that foot, that uh, far leg over and end up in top position. Quite often they'll end up in mount. 
as we saw there, though. Uh, Luke Zillick turtled up, and uh, Paul Abdul-Rahman landed some big shots from back control. And there's been some huge punches landed. Not one of the boys have taken a backward step or, or felt or shown any signs of being rocked at all. So, once again, I, I think we're in for a barn burner for a second round. Yeah, I love watching Luke Zillick fight. He always loves getting involved in these kinds of fights. It was interesting when I was leaving the cage there after announcing the two fighters, I did hear Adrian Pang just uh, telling Luke, keep his hands up, you know, stay calculated. So that's uh, obviously Adrian just trying to get him to, you know, maybe not brawl as much. But I'll tell you what, there's something about uh, someone with Luke Zillick's style that all the fans just absolutely love and turn up to see. Yeah, the boys, the, uh, the crowd always loves it when the big boys jump in the, jump in the ring, but it's even better when the boys actually know what they're doing and yeah. throwing some nice straight punches. So here we go. Peter Hickmon claps us in round two. Wow. Oh, I don't know how these boys are taking these shots so well. I'm not sure if the sound's quite translating onto the, uh, onto the webcast, but some of these shots, the noise they're making. Oh, over the top behind the ear. Paul Abdul-Rahman throws a nice sneaky little uppercut that might have missed by an inch, which could have uh, changed the outlook of the fight. Nice timing on the left hook there, countering the body kick from Abdul-Rahman. No up kicks uh, to the head here, legal in B-class. So Abdul Rahman pretty safe in this standing guard position. Let's We've seen how comfortable he is with his stand-up. Let's see how uh, Paul Abdul Rahman likes the, the ground game, see if he wants to carry him down there or if he wants to get this back up standing eventually. I believe he is listed as a white belt, but I tell you what, that uh, mounted guillotine choke finish I saw him get back uh, a few years ago certainly didn't look like a white belt doing work. So might be one of those boys who's uh, well overdue for a promotion. <laughs> the old sandbaggers. Whoa, swinging heavy there. And a bit of a chuckle from Abdul Rahman as he can't quite connect with that big hook. The old white belt curse makes it easy to get a fight match, doesn't it? When it's, uh, <laughs> the old white belt you've gone up against. Oh, big calf kick there. And slips out of the way. The counters look like there might have been a headbutt there. And uh, straight back into the centre. Luke Zilek just has an absolute eye and chin. Abdul Rahman's hitting with everything but the kitchen sink. And Luke Zilek barely even looks like he's... Uh, He's breathing heavy. Abdul Rahman, I've seen him do it a couple of times where he throws that really low leg kick, takes out the shin, putting uh, Luke Zillick off balance and then following up with a, an uppercut. I wonder if uh, he'll get a chance to throw that again and land on that follow-up uppercut. Yeah, it's a really interesting kind of evolution that we've seen in striking in mixed martial arts over the last few years, that uh, low uh, leg kick that we've seen now going below the knee. So, of course, traditional Muay Thai, you're hitting, uh, trying to hit the thigh, but oh, some wow. big shots. And Luke Zillick maybe starting to show... Uh, Show a little bit of wear and tear from these big punches that have been landed by uh, Paul Rahman. Oh, wow, big nice body big kick. Slap. Big slapping noise, mate, but uh, yourself with your Muay Thai experience, is it, is it the slap that you want to hear or is it more of a thud that, uh, you know, does the more damage? Yeah, you're on the money there, Matt. It's those thudding kicks that you really dig into the soft tissue and do the damage. So the slap uh, sounds quite pleasing, but the, the thudding kicks are the ones that hurt. Let's see if Zillick can maybe try and get his way around for a suplex goes for the body lock can't quite get the takedown though so still in that in that position with his hands clasped it's funny enough you, you mentioned before that you thought you might have seen a bit of a head cut uh, sorry a, a, a head butt Luke Zillick a, a bit of blood on his forehead I don't really remember seeing a, a punch that could have done that sort of damage so there yeah. possibly could have been a, a little head clash that might have opened Zillick up a little bit yeah I think you're right there Matt we did see uh, it was when Paul Abdul Rahman uh, tried to close the distance Luke Zillick, as he does, held his ground and uh, did eat one. Did look like, sorry, he ate the uh, maybe the chin of, uh, of Abdul Rahman on Luke Zillick's forehead. So the corner's now going to work. The team from Fight Firm and Ronan uh, doing the job there for Paul Abdul Rahman and the star-studded lineup in the corner of Integrated MMA. Isaac Hardman, the former XFC professional lightweight champion, with uh, one of the OGs of Australian MMA, Adrian Pang, helping him out there as well. So, of course, Luke Zillick, a training partner of uh, our champion in the professional featherweight division, coming up later tonight, Jackson Small, will look to defend his title. So, as I mentioned earlier, seven fighters on the card for integrated MMA. So, very busy night ahead for the, uh, for the boys there from integrated. Sandwiches. Yeah, when there's uh, 13 fights on the card and integrated are on seven of them. Oh, yeah, I saw uh, with Jordan Payne from integrated in the first fight, as soon as that fight finished, Adrian Payne did the bolt, took out the back to help his, uh, his next fight. Yeah, he almost, he almost knocked me over coming down the <laughs> stairs. 
So into round number three we go. Obviously, we're not judges here, Matt, but I'd have to assume that Paul Abdul Rahman definitely got that second round. First round was kind of wow. close, but I think Abdul Rahman did steal it at the end. So could well and truly be two up for the man in the blue corner. Yeah, you'd have to think some of these punches are uh, starting to get through as well. Luke Zillick fatiguing just a little bit, and I have to think some of those punches are getting through. Might be sapping some of his energy as well, but... Oh! oh. A little bit of a wobble there with the back leg. So Luke Zillick showing some serious heart here as he's thrown into the fence right in front of us in the commentary booth. And it Peter Hickmont, close eyes. Keeping a close eye on Luke Zillick once again. Fighter safety is always paramount, but Peter Hickmont looking him, focusing on Luke Zillick, making sure that he's nice and healthy. Abdul oh. Rahman looking for that finishing punch. Oh, some of those knees to the body as we see Luke Zillick just nothing oh, but heart. Nice body. That's got to hurt, doesn't it? So Paul Rahman coming home strong here. Body, head, wow. head. Beautiful uppercut. Oh, and again, the left hand sticks. So much toughness on display here from Luke Zillick. Again, how is Zillick still standing? Unbelievable, the chin on this man. Oh, another big shot. Oh, that's it. Peter Hickman calls a stop to it. Welcome back to the cage, Paul Abdul Rahman. Phenomenal stoppage by Peter Hickman. And again, what an impressive display by Paul Abdul Rahman. He just looked calm and collected that entire time, didn't he? Unbelievable display there from the man in the blue corner. Gets the third round KO. Woo. He is one to watch here at light heavyweight. The man's got some power. Luke Zillick, nothing but respect for that man. One of the toughest fighters that you will see on this Australian amateur circuit. Took so much damage before he went down. And the boys there showing nothing but love. Great to see. Yeah, absolutely phenomenal fight as we look at the uh, the replays here. Paul Abdul Rahman going to work. Luke Zillick was always in the fight. He was always one or two punches away or a takedown or a, a, a big submission attempt to uh, get the win. But again, the composure of uh, Paul Abdul Rahman was just a little bit too much. Massive props to Luke Zillick. A lot of those punches would have knocked out a horse. But uh, yeah, standing nice and healthy now. So ladies and gentlemen, our referee has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute and 27 seconds of round number 3. Declaring your winner by TKO in the blue corner, Paul, the technician, Abdul Rahman. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with our winner from fight number three. Just inform me, coming off an eight year layoff here, the technician, Paul Abdul Rahman, gets things done with a third round TKO. Give me your thoughts on the fight here, Paul, and how it felt being back in the cage. Um, I knew uh, from Luke's last fight that he's a lot more durable than you know, he looks. It, 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 well, from his videos, it looked a little bit easier to hit, but being southpaw tall, he's very awkward. Coming from integrated, I needed to have a really, really good camp. But um, yeah, now it went the way I was hoping it would go. So you ended up getting the third round finish there, but uh, landed some big shots there through the first and second round. Your composure was something that really impressed us in the commentary booth. Never got too excited. Did you know, though, when you started landing those shots towards the end of that third round and eventual finish that he was uh, close to seeing the door? Um, Dave, I, I was just planning the fight based off of his last fight. He was hit with a lot of big shots his last fight. I didn't want to gas myself out trying to finish him off because I know how tough he is, but um, I, I did plan on catching him with a couple power shots, making him lose a little bit more confidence, giving me a bit more time to work my angles and, and then, yeah, come home with the TKO. Yeah, mate, hands looked incredible here tonight. And finally, what's the rest of the year look like for the technician? Oh, I'm actually about to be a dad, so this was sort of a... Um, the last fight till maybe mid next year or I don't know, I don't know what to expect, so 
Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Love you, babe. Reggie, Hans. Well, ladies and gentlemen, give it up. Round of applause. The future dad takes the win here. Give it up for Paul, the technician, Abdul Rahman.